While state and local Democratic leaders are defending President Biden despite the national response to his debate performance. Those we spoke with say they still think he's the choice for the job. Rachel Hanley explains. In the first debate of the election, President Biden spoke softly. If they just paid 24 percent. And at a few points, he trailed off and seemed not to finish his thought. Dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look. It's very hard to win a debate, but it's easy to lose one. And Biden lost this one. WWL political analyst Clancy Dubo says it was clear the president struggled Thursday night. But Friday, Louisiana Democrats still came to Biden's defense. I can tell you, you know, from the Louisiana Democratic Party standpoint that we have absolute full faith in President Joe Biden. Drew Prestridge of the Louisiana Democratic Party acknowledged the president's slip-ups. I don't think his performance will go down in the, you know, list of top debate performances ever. But he said the party still believes Biden is ready for a second term, and the choice between the two candidates is clear. Trump told lie after lie after lie on that debate stage for 90 minutes last night. Some of those claims included downplaying the January 6th attack. They talk about a relatively small number of people that went to the Capitol. And insinuating that infanticide was allowed under Roe v. Wade. He can take the life of the baby in the ninth month and even after birth. Those words don't even make sense. That would be murder, killing someone once they have been born. State Representative Mandy Landry says she's behind Biden too. She thinks he's still the obvious choice for the job, despite Thursday's debate. He knew all the policy details like the back of his hand. He's just not ever going to compete with someone as uh, energetic as Trump. With months to go until the election, Dubo says Thursday's debate might not even define the rest of Biden's campaign. I think you're going to see less attention paid to Biden's performance style-wise and more uh, attention paid to uh, Donald Trump's delivery of misinformation and outright lies. And things may look different in September when the two candidates meet for their next debate. Rachel Handley, WWL Louisiana. We reached out to the state's Republican Party and haven't heard back from them. None of Louisiana senators or our area's congressional representatives were available to speak to us today.